how to design the refresh theme on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can get started with the refresh theme on Shopify. So the refresh theme is a free to use theme that you can use on Shopify. It is great for e-commerce product. It is simple and easy to use. Plus it makes your Shopify store look quite nice. And I do think it is just a great template to get started with. So let's start building our store with this theme. So to get this theme, all you have to do is log on to Shopify. Click on online store over here and then you will be opened up to your themes page. Currently I have the Dawn theme and then if I scroll down you have your popular free themes and you will just click on add refresh and once you add refresh theme you will find it in your theme library. Now instead of directly publishing it what we're going to do is click on customize over here and we can begin customizing this theme first and then later on we can choose to publish it. So this is the home page and then on the top you have this navigation panel to navigate through all of the pages of this team. Now let's get started with designing and creating our Shopify store with the refresh theme. So the first thing you need with any kind of Shopify store is a favicon image for your logo. So if you go into your header, so if we take our header over here, we have our main menu and then we have our um, basic settings for how the appearance of our menu is going to be, how you want your logo to be presented. So if you want it to be the top center, so on and so forth. I think I'm going to continue with top center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my store over here. So in our header, you can add uh, any kind of section. So the main menu section, and I can change the menu and choose a different menu if I want. I also have um, the settings for our logo. Obviously, you want to change the name of your logo. That is going to be your actual brand name. Now, below that, you have your slides, and I will click on my header. And you can move it to your previous position. You can also add larger margins on the bottom however you want to design it i think i'm going to make it a smaller margin because the header already is pretty large and with my header i can also choose the specific color scheme now in uh, shopify you have your colors over here so if you click on the top left in your theme settings you have the colors whatever color scheme you want you can add all of your colors over here and later on just customize the store the input in your store let's say i want to do a skincare brand and i want it to be in a pastel pink theme so to do that i can just select all of my colors beforehand into the colors that i want like so then i'm going to choose my second accent color and a really easy way to know what accent colors you should be using is simply by going on ahead and changing uh, the colors into a similar shade of the blues that you have. So after that, I'm going to go with my deep purple over here, pinkish purple, like this. Then we have our outline button. Then we have our first background. So I don't want it to be gray. I want it to be a very, very, very light pink like this. And then background number two, I want to maybe add like a hint of blue to it. Or maybe I think I'm going to continue with the similar vibe of pinks. Now, after that, you also have some other options like your typography, which kind of fonts you want, what kind of font scale you want, your layouts, icons, uh, logos, all of that good stuff. So from here, let's say we want to upload our logo, we can click on upload image and you can upload your logo. So let's go into Canva and just get started with a favicon logo over here. You can just search for logo, it's just the same thing. And we are going to go with category. So we're just going to go on ahead and take this little logo over here and you can enter your own brand name. So I'm just going to edit this and enter my own brand name. Let's say it is... And now I'm just going to rotate this so it fits a little better, like so. And I can just download this as a PNG. And once this is downloaded, I can go back into my refresh theme and upload my logo over here. And once you have your logo uploaded, we're just going to select it so it can be added to our little store. Now, the logo image and the favicon image are different favicon images are the ones that don't have a background obviously you guys can see i designed this with a background so you can see the background that is why i recommend you make sure to 
change your uh, logo to a favicon or just match the header color to the background of your image if you don't know how to create a favicon but you can just go into any background remover and you can create this so you can even go into canva and you have a bunch of different tools you can use to make sure that you can remove backgrounds but i'm not going to do that it's going to take a little too much time so we're going to set up the rest of our theme settings for now. We have the width of our desktop logo, which I'm going to decrease a little. Then we have our basic colors added. We have our typography. Obviously, you can change the font. I'm going to continue with this one. You have basic layouts, inputs, icons, brand info, social media links. You want to make sure you're adding your social media links over here because the icons that are present within the template can represent your brand logos and your social media logos. Now, after that, I'm going to go into our first slider and you can select a header image. So for that, we can go back into Canva. You can search for header and it will give you, you know, a bunch of different nice and simple designs. You can obviously customize them. So I can search for, for a shop header and you guys can see there are quite a few different headers available. So I am going to just pick one out. Let's say it is this one and I will just customize this and I'm going to, I'm just going to add it. So let's say we have this. Obviously, you can customize it however you want, but make sure that it reflects the brand uh, image that you have. If you want to market it towards a more serious uh, audience, if you want it to be more laid back, depending on that, you want to make sure that you're targeting and using the correct image. So I have just uploaded this image and you guys can see this little font uh, block on top of my image is actually a little larger so i can select that and change the uh, layout of that as well so let's go on ahead click on this and then scroll down we have the heading size we're gonna make it small and that is the size you can also add subheadings if you want and you can change the layout so show container on desktop let's say i don't want to show the container and I can scroll down and I can also uh, change up the side to make it to the right instead if I want to do that. But I want to uh, remove the container and I'm going to edit the uh, section. So find the latest trends here. Then below that we have a featured product section. Obviously, uh, when you start adding your products, you will be able to display them over here. Then in the bottom we have our footer. So in your footer, there are a lot of different things you can add. You can add uh, things like a show email sign up, which I do like to show. Uh, but uh, you want to make sure that you're not doing this uh, directly if uh, you already have a, a section already for subscriptions. But below that, you have social media links. So it says show your social media icons. If you add your social media links, they will be added over here. And you can add things like your copyright information. And we can go on ahead and link all of our social media. Just as an example, let's just link Instagram. So now I'm just adding the basic links to Instagram just as an example to show you guys. Just copy your Instagram link on your profile. Then you want to go ahead, click on Instagram, paste it over here, and that is it. So once you add that, you will be able to see the Instagram icon in your footer. You can also change the direction and the overall size of your footer with the padding and the top margins as well. So in this way, once you have customized your theme, you can click on the top left and click on save and you can uh, add your products and then you are going to be able to see how the products are going to appear. And you're going to do this for all of your pages. But once you edit the theme section, whatever you input in your theme section is applied throughout your entire collection or is applied throughout your entire store. So it's going to look pretty similar to what you do to your home store. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.